we decided to come up to Lost Lake on the northeast or northwest side of Mount Hood. There's wonderful views of Mount Hood. Once we get around the other side, this trail goes all the way around. It's about three miles, they say. How you doing, Hollywood? Good. Feels good. It's nice to get out here and get some exercise. We're looking for a place where we can set up a couple of chairs along the waterfront, catch some rays, put our toes in the water. We decided to come stay at a campground this weekend just to change it up a bit. It's a good thing we did because we drained our Jeep battery last night and needed one of those jump starters. Fortunately, they had one at the general store here. The Lost Lake store and campground shuts down at the end of October. So we thought it wouldn't be too crowded this weekend. Which we were lucky to get a site because most of the uh, first come, well, all of the first come, first serve ones are tent only. And that does not mean rooftop tent. You have to have a tent to be able to set up. Otherwise, they will take your stuff to Lost and Found if you leave with your vehicle. The campsites are nice because they're not too close to one another and there's a lot of trees and that in between so you don't feel like you're right on top of each other like a lot of campgrounds. Yeah. And this three mile hike around the lake is beautiful. All these old growth trees. Trying to find a little beach we can set up these little portable chairs we got with us. Found ourselves a neat little beach. Hollywood can be in the sun. <laughs> These chairs here are the bomb. Super light, easy to set up. They don't work so good in sand because you sink, but this type of surface works good. Got the lake and Mount Hood through there. Be the northeast face, or northwest face, <laughs> keep saying east. We're on the west side. And then 
They rent John boats, all paddle stuff, no motors. They rent paddle boards, they rent kayaks, single and double. And they even rent double kayaks with clear bottoms, which are 40 some dollars a day, the kayak, double kayaks are $29 an hour, excuse me, $40 an hour, $29 an hour. Double kayak for the day is $92, I think, or 99. Of course, this is uh, October 2022 for reference on those pricings. Two nights here for a RV site with no water, no electric, it's $35 a night. I think we're all sites primitive. Yes. They've done a really good job of keeping things natural. Yeah, really clean. Lots of even garbage cans around on this trail, which is nice. trees in here, pine trees I think, and cedar. Cedar. They're huge. They're a family. Look at this big boy. Reaching way up. Killed my battery in my rig last night by leaving something on, so we had to get a jump and I wanted to get everything off of it to get home. But this fridge is running on it. It's a Bogar V style fridge. Dual, we got a freezer side and a fridge side. Right now it smells like onions. Anyway, so one side set at 34, the other side set at zero. It's been like that all day. In leaving the campground, we decided to take a look down at the far end of the lake. We were told that maybe there was some dispersed camping down there. So we head down that way. We maybe found a half a dozen campsites, but none of them either didn't have much space or they didn't, none of them had any view of the lake. And I don't know how much of a hike it would have been to get there from there. It does start to get pretty tight, so gathering some more pinstriping. Anyway, it ended up dead ending. I think we're done for. We don't feel like sawing today. Well, come to the end of a little side road we decided to check out. Not a bad view. we crossed over the river, we decided to take a right and got a little curious on what was down this way. Turned out to be a pretty interesting site actually. 
Check it out. Not bad if you don't mind being back in the trees. If you're coming for sun, you're gonna have to walk about 100 yards out to the clearing before you can get any. road for a couple miles we do come up on another offshoot we decide to check out we must stop here we must stop for photographs This one that we're on here ended up dead ending with not much of a campsite. We thought there'd be something along a river, but not so much. Little Pass Road eventually turns to nice pavement and gradually works its way back to Highway 26. Thank you so much for coming along with us on this journey. We certainly had a good time and hope you enjoyed watching the video. We'll certainly get back to uh, more overlanding videos here soon, but I thought you might be interested in checking out Lost Lake. If you like the video, hit a like, and subscribe, and come join us for some more trips. We're glad to have you along.